Good morning. Welcome back to me being cheap. Yes, I am filming out the door and this door actually, it's kind of stuck. It doesn't open right now. So, um, yes, the glass is dirty. No, I can't clean it right now. Um, but anyway, um, that is my stack of canning jars back behind the camp chef that are growing and growing. So I did use my stimulus check to pick up um, you know, all those, a lot of jars plus some tattlers. But, um, I had a friend that reached out to me on Facebook and she was getting ready to move her mother-in-law and they were downsizing and, um, they had canning jars too. That, that box there with the rag on it, that is also, uh, canning jars. Um, and she asked if I'd like to have some canning jars and I said, sure, I'd love to. I'm, I'm hoping I get to do a lot of canning this summer. So I went out there to pick up the canning jars and there's probably approximately eight dozen for free, which is totally awesome. Um, you guys, if you want the canning jars, second hand is the way to go. Those things can get expensive and a lot of people that are getting out of canning, um, I mean, they do take up a lot of room. I mean, look, that whole table back there is full of them. Some people just want to get rid of them if they're not, if they're not into, into the canning anymore. Um, anyhow, so I went out there uh, to pick up the free canning jars, and the lady asked me if I'd like pressure cooker or pressure canner. I was like, sure, sure, I would love to have another one. Um, because when I'm canning, that means I can do even more at the same time. So um, between putting the uh, the canners on the burner of the, the burners of the stove and then I've also got the camp chef there that I could use as well. So anyhow, I'm gonna bring this in now. She brought up two pressure canners. And this one is a Miromatic and it holds four quart jars. And this one, it's it's an oldie. It's a national and that's what national was before it was presto. Um, anyhow, both of these have the manual that came with them. And that one does say Presto, so it's National Presto. Anyhow, I'm, I was born in 75. I'm pretty sure this thing's way older than me. But anyhow, um, this one has like this built-in kind of weight. I have not used that type before, so I'm gonna have to experiment. But what I did do is this one's got the gauge. So I had this tested. And for those of you that don't know, if you pick up a secondhand pressure canner, and then you should also do this periodically with your others that have a gauge, is to go to your local extension office, which is usually at your county courthouse that's here in the US. If you're in the US, um, that's where you can go. If you're outside the U.S., I don't know. I don't know where you would go. But most counties have a county extension agent. And they have the ability to test your gauges on your pressure canner. So my son got the pleasure of learning about the county extension agent. He had never been. Of course, I'm still working, so I sent him. He's got more capacity to do this. And um, they were only open uh, by appointment um, due to uh, COVID. They kind of have everything still locked up. So I had to schedule an appointment. They said they were just going to watch for a kid uh, carrying a lid to a, to a pressure canner, and then they'd unlock the door and let them in. So what they do is they actually test the gauge. And here is the report sheet. Let's see. And so they tested at 5, 10, and 15 pounds. And my, when testing at five, it was reading eight pounds. When testing at 11, it was reading 15. And when testing 15, it was reading at 20. So um, they recommend that if it's off by plus or minus two pounds that you replace the gauge. So um, this is the gauge. And they actually said that um, it's, in, it's in good condition you know, but it's not reading accurately. So, um, they did even print this off for my son. It is a list of parts. And this is from Presto, and the replacement gauge is like $18. Um, and then this is the order form for 
you can go online and do it. I'll probably do it online. It's a little bit quicker. So, $18, but I got a free pressure canner. I, I am hearing that you can't hardly find canning stuff. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. I did look online, and a new one about this size made by Presto is about $99. So, to get one that's in good condition, still has the rack, the manual, all I have to do is replace the gauge for $18. That's not a bad deal. This one, this one has, <clears throat> this one has the weighted gauge. Um, it's the little round circle, and you put it on depending if you want 5, 10, or 15 pounds. I tried this one out uh, the other day. And actually, weighted gauges are my preference. I, I find that they're easier. Um, so there's nothing to test here um, as far as a gauge or anything. But I did test this out the other day, and I I did not notice this little thing here. I haven't seen one like this before. My other uh, Miro pots don't have this, so I'm not familiar. I need to read the manual to see what that is. But when I was trying to can with this one, I did notice that most of the steam was seeping around the handle. So I don't know if I didn't get this locked down properly or if this is actually broken. But this, uh, this did not work for me. So I actually had to take the jars out and put them in my other pressure canner to, uh, to can them. Um, this seems like it's in good condition, um, but it does seem like it's a little loose in there. So I don't know if it was a problem with this, but uh, yeah, I probably need to spend some time doing a little research uh, to see what's, uh, uh, what that is. Uh, but again, I could not get this one to come up to pressure at all. In fact, when I pulled the, the weight off, it made no noise at all. I mean, all the steam was just coming out around the handle. So if you guys have knowledge of this, let me know. Um, I'm pretty busy right now. I probably won't get a whole lot of time to, uh, to, to play around with this. I am hoping this weekend to go ahead and go in and order, um, a new gauge for this one and, uh, get that going. Um, that is something you can do yourself. Um, if you have some basic tools, you can, uh, swap the gauges out. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm all about saving money. Um, my channel got started as a get out of debt channel, um, ways to save money, um, that sort of thing. I, I do follow the Dave Ramsey principles. I have been debt free, debt free for quite some time. I did pay off my mortgage. And so right now, um, uh, Michael and I are trying to, uh, be more self-sufficient with our food and, uh, take more control over our own food production for, um, uh, uh, for quality of food and health reasons too. And then also, I, I think you can still save money by doing it yourself. Um, I'll go ahead and give you a, a view of the garden out there. Way on past the greenhouse and past the campers, the garden. Um, that little box out there, that's our rabbit tractor where we've got some rabbits that we're going to breed um, for meat. So anyhow, Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.